The Lord bless you, heart dwellers. And if you're having unusual situations and suffering right now, well, that's right in line with what the Lord is doing. For us, my dear husband is going through some very rough waters with medication adjustments and attacks against his mind that seem to have been in another reality, highly agitated and confused. And we're trying to get things balanced out, but it's not an easy process. I've never experienced anything quite like this, nor has the community. But it is beautiful to see the Lord bringing us through it all and how we work together so well. We certainly are getting an education in how the enemy works against us. Oh, Lord, what can I say other than I'm overwhelmed by his suffering? The Lord began, and you know I'm allowing this for my purposes. It will end when I end it. Do not fret. Just take care of every situation as it comes up, but don't fret or fail in faith that I am fully capable of resolving this issue my way. It does take a bit of patience on your part, but I'm giving you all the grace to walk through this storm unscathed. Your enemies are hell-bent on destroying you, but they don't seem to realize that it's not you they are fighting. Beloved spouse, be at peace. I am handling this, and you are doing the right thing. So please do not brood over various solutions. Commit to the path I have set your feet upon, and trust me. Oh, thank you, Lord. That's so good to hear. I am giving you strength and watching out for him as well. You have nothing to fear. Things are going as planned. No, I don't conjure up the evil and harm being done, the devils do, but I will expose the impotence of those who doubt my existence. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God, whether they believe that I am living or not. Please be at peace and trust as much as you can as we walk through this fire together. You are making progress. Stand tall and refuse doubts of all kinds. What else is on your heart, Lord? I like it when you watch The Chosen, that series by Dallas. My character is very accurately portrayed, and it does help your faith. There is a tremendous anointing on that series, and it is very timely. I like it when you refer people to it, and by the way, thank you for supporting them. They are making great inroads into the religiosity that has turned people away from me for centuries. Well, I like the way they portray Mary. And he said, that too is by design. Dallas has broken the mold that most producers have created in choosing a classic Peter Mary and Judas. He has jarred people out of their stereotypes that tend to make for boring characters. His characters are truly three-dimensional and catching people who are used to the same old archetype, catching them off guard and pricking their curiosity. Yes, I noticed that <laughs> when they introduce a character that doesn't seem like a Mary type to me. It really causes me to stop and think differently and uh, realize that there's a lot of things being portrayed in these characters that have never been portrayed before. There are many wonderful dimensions to this series, and it's like a giant bulldozer destroying people's cast in concrete, preconceived conception of what it was like in those days and how I really related to people with love and great affection. Yes, I am very pleased, but don't be fooled. They are having to fight many spiritual battles. So I am saying, I like you to watch this series, and it is helpful to everyone. Claire, don't be afraid. We will conquer this situation in flying colors. 
Trust me, beloved. All over the world right now, I am stretching the faith of my people, breaking stereotypes, canned religion, and responses to be free to move with the Holy Spirit in a fresh and relevant new way that is greatly needed. All of my people are being thrown out of their comfort zones to stretch and grow and handle more than they have ever handled before. It is a bit unnerving and scary, but I am with each of you to reassure you that this is me. Please trust me. I am also giving you the strength and skill to get through this, all of you. So draw on me more and more. Do not let a second of need go by without calling me to intervene and supply what is needed. He lifted my chin just then and said very tenderly, I'm here and we are doing this together as well as drawing closer to one another in situations that you may be unfamiliar with. This is helping us to operate in seamless cooperation with my spirit. Do not be afraid. Continue to expect a miracle. And that was the end of his message.